Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBP Nets video series on smart pointers and this topic is about shared pointer in C++. So if you already know what is smart pointer, then you are the right candidate to actually go for this shared pointer. Otherwise, if you want to know what is smart pointer and what is the actual use of that, please go ahead and watch my introduction video which is the part of this playlist and you'll get the link in the description as well. And if you're not getting it, please let me know, I'll put it. So let's start this video. So the first point is shared pointer is a smart pointer which can share the ownership of the object which we call managed object. So before this video we saw a unique pointer where it was not sharing the pointer what it was managing. But in shared pointer you will actually be allowed let's suppose you have this shared PTR which is actually holding some object for you and that is dynamically created object. Let's suppose new foo okay and this is the foo class so this is a pointer which is passed to this shared pointer object okay i'll show you the syntax but just understand that there is something called shared pointer which is a wrapper over your dynamically created objects and it manages the lifetime of your dynamically created object so that you don't have to write a delete and all that to free it it automatically detects that okay this is the correct time for calling the destructor and releasing the memory so th that's that's common in shared pointer sorry smart pointers and all that but shared pointer have one facility that only one object can be shared to multiple shared pointers so this is what i mean is this shared pointer let's suppose this is shared pointer one not one zero so this zero can be assigned to shared pointer one two three and four it means this single new foo is actually used these many places and it manages the reference count with the help of control block. What I mean by reference count is the moment it creates it, it will say that, okay, only one guy is using this. Okay. Only one place is where this new foo is used. Now you assign this smart pointer zero to smart pointer one. Now the reference count will get increased now it will become two and it will be two here also and let's suppose you are initializing smart pointer zero here then it will become three all the places similarly it goes for smart pointer three and four so let's move to the next point next point is several shared pointer can point to the same object that's what i explained here right and next point is it keeps a reference count to maintain how many shared pointers are pointing to the same object. That's what I said here. We have a reference count that is a control block. So actually in shared pointer, we have two things. Sorry. One is your object, what you created here or maybe this one. It can point to any pointer. Okay. So let's make this part as managed object. So MB. And there is this another portion which is called control block where you actually keep track of reference count of your managed object. So whenever you assign your smart pointer object to some another smart pointer object, this control block will kick in and it will increment the reference count. So the reference count variable lies inside this control block. It's just that simple. Okay. Rest is equal to the unique pointer. But don't go anywhere, I'll show you how this work in threading because when you have threads, then only you can actually see the difference. So I'll take the thread and I'll explain. So don't go anywhere. And it says that once the last shared pointer goes out of scope, then the managed object gets deleted. So the third point is, I mean, fourth point is shared point is a thread safe and not thread safe. Oh my God, what is this? Thread safe and not thread safe? Wait a minute, actually this control block is thread safe but this one is not thread safe this one is nothing but your foo your integer pointer or whatever in the world that is not thread safe but if you simultaneously start using your shared pointer and assign that shared pointer here and there so that reference count should be incremented in race free manner okay and if it is not then you are in a big trouble but c++ standard says that this control block i mean this reference count is actually thread safe so no matter how many time or where you copy this and that 
the reference count is intact. You don't have to worry about that. The worrying portion is this managed object. So whatever pointer you are using, it should be thread safe. So inside your actual class, you will make that point as a thread safe. So if you're using some function, you can use mutex in that and actually make your class thread safe. So that's up to us. And this control block is actually a thread safe and it is guaranteed. So that's what I have written here. Control block is thread safe, but managed object is not. Now the next point is there are three ways shared pointer will be destroyed. The managed object will destroy the managed object. And the first is if the last shared pointer goes out of scope, that is obvious case. I'll show you that case. Don't worry. And this one is if you initialize shared pointer with some another shared pointer. And the third point is if you call the reset on the shared pointer, then it will destroy your managed object. So these are the three places where you can destruct your managed object. And the last and very important point is reference count doesn't work when we use reference or pointer to the shared pointer. So if you're passing this reference pointer object as sorry, shared pointer object as reference, I mean, you're taking it as a reference or using it as a pointer, I mean, passing it as a address of this shared pointer, then it will not work because you're just passing the address of this smart, sorry, shared pointer object. Whereas you should use or pass it as a value. Then only this reference count will work. So let's jump to the code and demystify all the doubts. So first we will see what is the actual need of this one. So so if you will compile this code, it will work. So you compile successfully and if I'll execute this, we are getting this one. So there is one issue here, right? You know that we forgot to write this delete f. If we would have written it, then the destructor would have been called. But here, if you see it, it is only one. We are not deleting it. So the destructor is not called for this class and we are dealing with the memory leak. And what if I tell you that you don't have to write this delete because there is a risk that you may forget it. So that's why we use smart pointers. So there are three pointers, I mean smart pointers, and we use them on the need basis. And here we will see smart pointer, shared pointer. This is SP. And now you can give new foo with one and we will do this f smart pointer get x and yes this operator is overloaded in this class and shared pointer is a class i mean class template okay now if i will compile this compiled see i have not written delete and it is printing this and at last when i am hitting this bracket which is saying that the scope of this guy is over at that time it is calling destructor automatically. So that's what was happening in unique pointer also, right? But here is the magic. We can use this sp get count, sorry, use count. And it will tell you how many places this is used. So just to differentiate, I will make this one as 100 and save this and compile this and execute this. See, this is printing 100 because we are passing 100 and now it is saying that the use count is one. Let's increment the use count. What I mean is, and now if you see this, it will still be one here, but after this it will print two, okay? So remember the ordering. So let's save this, compile this, execute this. See, it is 100, this is one, now this has become two because we have initialized this SP into this one. Not only this, this SP will also give you the same number. Let's do this. See out SP one use count and we will compile it, execute it. See two and two. So this is coming from SP and this one is coming from SP one. So this is the magic of that control block, which is actually managing how many people are using your dynamically created object. And can you see this? Even if there were two reference count, there is only one destructor. And as I said, if you will take this as a reference here, let me do that. Then it will not work. See, you are assigning SP as reference, not as the value. So let's save and compile this. 
and execute this, see, it is one now everywhere. And same goes with the pointer. If I will use this pointer here and assign the address. And for this, you have to use this arrow operator. Yep. Now save this, compile this. Again, the same output because we cannot increment the reference count if it is pointer or reference. It has to be copy by value. Understood? Okay. With that being said, let's go to the threading and see how it works. And let's create some function where I will pass this as P. Okay. And here. minus lp thread okay and good now actually see you created this smart pointer one time and you are passing into this different different threads right this function is a thread so we created actually three threads and pass this smart pointer which is a shared pointer into this so new shared pointer was created so every thread will have its own shared pointer so you can see that you have this function which is showing four, three, two, because one was already with this guy because when this was created, shared pointer was one. And when you actually passed it in any of this thread, that time this shared pointer was already one. I mean, reference count of shared pointer was one. The moment you passed it, it should be incremented by four, correct? And actually it is random if uh, I'll print this, see, I printed this again and now this is printing that function main 4432. But the important point is here, the destructor is always called one time. So everyone is using the same new foo as a managed object. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Take care. Bye bye.